I'll tell you a bit of a story. When I was 16, I decided I didn't want to live at home anymore. Uh, I was living up here in Coolum Beach, where I am now, and I moved to Sydney. I got on a Greyhound bus, uh, left Coolum Beach. Now, my friends here that live in Coolum that, you know, that watch my videos, I know they'll, they'll remember me doing this. I was 16 years old. And I had a friend of mine who was in the Navy, and he was living down in Sydney, and he decided that uh, I decided that I was going to go down and, uh, and flat in with him, you know, bunk in with him. He was living in Glebe at the time, and I got down there, and obviously he, was, he wasn't home much because he was always out at sea or was on, you know, at the naval base doing whatever he did. And um, I actually went looking for work, and when I saw this uh, Underbelly series, let me just show you again. It's called Underbelly, the Golden Mile. Now, any of you guys in Sydney, you're going to know what the Golden Mile is. It's actually King's Cross. Well, I, <laughs> I was 16 years old, and I've always been sort of a robust, sort of a burly bloke. I was actually working as a doorman in Sydney um, at one of, the, uh, one of the strip joints <laughs> when I was 16 years old, believe it or not. Um, I was working at a place called The Love Machine. Uh, that sounds a bit weird, but it still exists to this day. Now, here's the trippy part about this. I'm watching this right. Now, this is in this is based from 1988 and beyond. Now, I was down there in 1988, and it was really when this was all starting. This, I mean, the crime in Kings Cross has always been there. Uh, but here's the trippy part. They actually mentioned my boss. Um, now I won't say his last name, but his first name was Steve, and he owned three of the clubs down there um, at the time. And the Love Machine was one of them. Now I used to be one of these pains in the bum that used to stand on the door at the club trying to get people to come inside. And I also doubled as uh, as one of the bouncers as well. So I went on from there after that. Uh, now I was down there for a year. I only lived there for a year. And then I decided I missed Coolum too much, so I moved back here. Um, but that's, in watching this, I mean, I was down there in 1988. It's kind of a trip though, because just the, the you know, I didn't know much of any of the people in the show, but I just, I thought it was a bit of a trip. And I was a bit of a naughty boy I, when I was down there. Got into some crazy stuff and did some crazy things and that, and you wouldn't believe it, would you? But um, yeah, I was a bit, uh, I was a bit, I was a bit average when I was a teenager, I was always in trouble. But anyway, getting back to this, it was just a trip to, to be able to hear Steve's name come up in the conversation amongst the, the Underbelly uh, series, it was kind of cool. It took me right back, and, and watching the whole series, because I mean, I was there for sort of like 88 into early 89, um, you know, and a lot, of the, a lot of the clubs and the scenes and the footage and that, and it was funny because I went back to King's Cross, um, oh, it was just, I think it would have been, it would have been going back 10 years now. Anyway, there's a very famous old, um, a famous old uh, drag queen down there by the name of Carmen. Now, I don't know if, you know if Carmen was there, but this was, this was years later anyway. It was like 10 years later that I actually went back there. And I, I was down there and it was really funny. I, I come across Carmen. And do you know, <laughs> and, and this, this, is a, this is a drag queen, prostitute drag queen, you know, it works on William Street. Do you know the memory of that, that person is just amazing, you know, she knew me by my first name. No one really knew my last name down there, I was just Darren, you know, I used to work on the door. Uh, but it was just a trip. And I've actually got a photo and I was going through albums today trying to find that photo. And if I find it, I'll put it up on another video. It's actually a picture of me. Uh, sitting down having a yak with Carmen, you know, I took got me photo time because she's quite a spectacular, you know, uh, a drag queen down there. It was quite funny actually, and um, not that I'm into the drag queen scene or anything like that, but it was just it was one of those people that I knew was passing by because I was when you're working on the doors in those places, you've always got something, you know, the walking by, and you got to know people. So and it was really funny because they've got the the cafe in their sweetheart, and that's where I used to get my uh, hot chocolate. I've never been a coffee drinker, but I used to get my hot chocolate across the road there, and it's pretty much opposite. Uh, where I used to work. But anyway, guys, that was just a bit of a trippy story. So.